What's up, guys? Coffee. Coffee, black coffee is like all I drink now. Other than my painkiller bottles yesterday. And it did help me sleep a little bit. I got a few hours sleep, so that's good. Okay. I have a statement to make. And then I'm going to give an update on Shani about what's going on right now. So, number one, if you are coming on this page that is me and my wife's, which is uh, Rev and Shani, this is our official Real Revelation news page, and you are coming on here to bully her, you are going to have an enemy with me. You got an enemy. If you think you can come in these live streams and spew all this hate and dog shit all the time, uh, and, and because you're trolls from, from who, whatever reaction channel, Drader or, or Carrie or whoever the fuck you're with, uh, I guarantee you, you have an enemy with me and you're going to be blocked and you're gone. That's it. Don't ask me to unblock you because I remember some of these names. Uh, it's not going to happen. If you are kind, you have a home here and Shani needs all the support she can get emotionally and love. I'm not going to look at the chat right now. God bless everybody in here. I love you. Okay, unless you're a troll. Seriously. I've been looking through comments when I see stuff pop up in comments. If they're hateful towards Shani in any way, you're getting blocked immediately by me. Me. I am the one blocking, and I will continue to do that to protect her. Because social media is so demonic with these people that want to uh, that destroy the mind of a woman that she's gone through so much. Enough. I won't tolerate it because I have made the decision. It's my decision. It's not Stockholm Syndrome. God, it's not Stockholm Syndrome. I'm in love with Shannon Egroff. Her name should be Egroff. If seven years. You know, I was talking to, uh, what do they call it? The, her cards here. Adult Protective Services person here. And, and I was discussing things with her and I gave her everything that happened because that's, you know, that this stuff happens, especially if there's some kind of like um, unaliving thing, okay? I was talking to her and she's like, oh yeah, they did away with common law marriage in Pennsylvania a while ago. She said, you, should, you need to Google it, which I haven't yet. But is it true, guys? I don't know that common law marriage is no longer a thing in Pennsylvania. That's crazy because it was seven years together and you're married automatically, you get all the same rights. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Ellen. Elena? Eleni? Eleni? Is that how you say your name? Eleni. You're right about that. And I've been trying to help her out. And, like, there's a park real close to us, right? Uh, the, the Casey Complex Park is so, it's right there. I mean, I we hop in the car, and she could just sit in the sun at least to get some fresh air. There's the Lackawanna Rivers there. She loves water. She, you know, and and slowly, incrementally get her walking. Absolutely, that's I've been trying to do that. You know, no, no, Jules. I saw Jules pop up in a message, uh, and people are saying that she's actually home, guys. I mean, if you want, I, I can't take you around the house. I'm sorry because this f stupid phone is shit. I apologize. Every time I try to, to turn the camera and, 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 and focus on other things, it crashes. It, it's dog shit. I'm sorry. Um, this is the couch where she stays, guys. You know what I'm saying? The, right here. This is where she is all the time. Where I'm sitting is where she sits all the time. Do you get what I'm saying? That's where I am, over there in the corner. And this is where she is all the time. Um, I just happen to be using this spot right now because it's in the middle and I got my cigarettes and I got my, my smart speaker. This is the coolest smart speaker ever. It was $9 on Amazon and it's a great speaker. It kicks ass Bluetooth for the phone because our speakers broke on the phone. I think it was TikTok, not TikTok, Instagram videos that are way too loud People get jack the volume to 150%, and then it breaks your fucking phone speaker, you know? And the Timu ad that comes on every once in a while, oh, oh, Timu, and that's, that's 
<laughs> your speakers. And it destroys your phone speakers. So that's, yeah. Anyway, back to the story. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to tolerate any hate. Because, do you know, I, I should take note of every single name. Shani is a vulnerable adult. It's actually a crime to bully her. Did you know that? She's a protected class because of her mental illness. So you guys that are doing this, you might even get legal action. You should delete your accounts because I've taken note of them. And if something, if the opportunity ever came along to uh, do something, I would. Because you're bullying someone with very big mental issues. You get that? All you guys that have done this to her are guilty of that. And she's ha she's got grace. You know, if, if some lawyer came to her, I don't know. It depends. And said, look, we could sue a lot of these people that have directly harmed you because of your status as protected, a protected class. So I'd delete your accounts if you had anything to do with bullying her because this is serious. This is serious. They understand my part in what happened, that I'm bipolar and I do shit too. You get what I'm saying? What's up, Matt? I see in messages. God bless you, Matt. We love you. And you're kind, giving. You're awesome, dude. Thank you. Um, I had to say this. You're going to have an enemy. Okay? Don't have an enemy. If you're going to be on the page, be cool as Shani and me, and we're cool. And you can have all the fun you want on the page, you know? If your fun includes bullying her, you're done. Myself, I don't really care much. Make fun of me. That's cool. It's been done so much now, it's hilarious. <laughs> you know, I'll do the kawaii cat ear shit, you know? What's with that? The anime girl thing that's like... <laughs> Johnny Click said, he who winks the eye sticks a tongue out. They're doing both, that. right? Dead sheep. That's what Johnny Cleck would say. It's dead sheep. They're killing you. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, kawaii shit's cool and fun. So whatever, you know. Uh, yeah, Damon, I, I, I've, I'm always trying to work on myself not fighting with her ever. I mean, but to me, it's like the cheating thing. Well, yeah, I see Gucci trolls. There's a good thing. I don't care if you vote for Trump. I don't, I, I would never block someone over their support of Trump. That's insane. You have every right to vote for who you want to vote for, like Cherished or whoever it was, uh, uh, posted Trump stuff. And Shane's like, I can't look at this shit and just blocks them. I'm, I don't agree with her on that stuff. See Lucy in messages. God bless Lucy. She's real sweet. She's, she took a big bong hit for me, which kicks ass, you know. She said in audio, I'm going to take a big bong rip for you. And I'm like, yeah, do it extra hard. Because, man, if I had a bong with THC, real weed, I would, oh, I would look like a stovepipe. Just, oh, there's tons of smoke coming out, man. I'd be, I'd be consuming that stuff. I've always got your back, Jason. Damon, you're cool, man. And did you hear what I said about Gary, Damon? Like, I let it go, man. I let it go. I say Gary was fun to be with when he was nice. I let it go, man. So just go with God, Gary. Even though you wouldn't come here and give me a little bit of my shit back, G, man, I'll give you the respect, call you G, man, from now on, okay? No more Gary bullshit. G, man. Did you do that? It just at least that. Maybe a couple systems like give Shanny back her GameCube. Because she wanted that stuff. And I, you were supposed to set this up with me, man. Come here. You don't knock on the door or nothing. I'll see you. Trust me. And you unload a few things. And, and just as a goodwill offer. And then we're done. You go with God. And I bless you, and, and everything's cool. I bless you now. But if that would be a really nice gesture to just show that you really appreciated that what I did with the house. 
is to give a few of the video game things back, especially Shani's GameCube with the GameCube games. If that's all you want to leave, that's fine, because I want her to have her shit. She should have her GameCube, because she'd like to play some of those GameCube games that she likes, like Metal Gear Solid 3 and shit like that. You know, and the first Animal Crossing I got her, you know, uh, the first game, and she would love to play that. So, yeah, leave the GameCube, and then we're done. Whatever. If you'd like to leave the N64 for me, that'd be nice with the EverDrive. That'd be real nice. Other than that, just go with God, and everything's cool. That's that's my take. But I wouldn't block people for, for political reasons. The, the reason I would block people is because psychological torture on my girl. That's why I would definitely block every single one of the people that try to do that and say, leave now, Jay, leave, run, rev, run, that bullshit. No, there's zero tolerance because this really messes with her mental state. And I love her. So if you do this shit to her, you got an enemy. Now, moving on from that, the update is this, is that I was talking to her therapist that she has at the place that they have her at, which she wants out now. Geisinger is crap. Not a good place anymore. It's where I was born in, 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 in uh, Danville. They suck now. Their service is absolutely horrible. I looked this place up on Google and it's got two star rating with 14 people saying this is dog shit. Ugh, unreal. So I'd been talking to her therapist today all day on and off. And I've let him know because I've talked to Shani too a couple, t three, less, at least three or four times. And Shani is literally like, I want out now. I don't care. I don't care. I want to go home. I want to go home. So I made that clear to her therapist. And her therapist said, she ain't on a 302. It was a 203 or whatever they call it, a 202, 203, which is you sign your name voluntary, which she did at CMC. She signed herself in, which was very good because if she didn't, they would have 502'd her, I think which is mandatory five days somewhere. And we, I wouldn't have seen her for who knows how long. Yeah, five, maybe longer than five days. It all, it all depends on the mental health professional going, they're okay to go. So she signed herself in so she could sign herself out pretty much immediately. And that's what the therapist said. He said, yeah, there's no problem here. We'll get this going. So that was the last I heard from him. I haven't heard from Shani since. I'll keep you up to date. I'll just keep you up to date. But that's it for now. They're going to give her a ride back here. Uh, hopefully today. I hope it's today. It, it, it might be tomorrow. We'll see. I'll keep you up to date. That's all I got for right now. I might come back later. You know, if she doesn't come back today, I'll come back later. And we could hang out and stuff. We'll just I'll I'll pay attention to the chat next time. I apologize to everybody. God bless all you. I'll see you soon. Peace of Maranatha.